Welcome back to another Google AdMob Developer tutorial. Today I'll be walking you through your AdMob mediation results for waterfall and bidding ad sources and how to debug any errors associated with them. This video assumes you know how to install third-party adapters. If not, check out our previous video on the topic. Now that I've set up mediation partners in my app, I can use Ad Inspector to inspect each one to see how they're performing. Opening the SDK request log, we can see each of my ad sources in the chain. Each request shows the results of the mediation waterfall, including the latency and any errors for each network. Also included in the waterfall is the winning bidding ad source at its bid price. If the request isn't filled by the first ad source, the next ad source in the chain attempts to fill the request and so on. For example, if the first ad source returns an ad, its status will be fill and the subsequent ad sources will have a status of not requested because they weren't needed. When reviewing reports in the AdMob UI, I noticed that my Triceratops network had a low fill rate. As I debugged an ad inspector, I could see the Triceratops network wasn't getting called because the Pterodactyl network was always filling the ad request. This is a perfect opportunity for single ad source testing which forces a single ad source to be returned in the ad response. To enable single ad source testing, toggle the switch at the bottom of Ad Inspector and select the ad source you want to test. Toggling the switch triggers new ad requests to only load the single ad source. Any ads previously cached by my app may be already loaded from other ad sources, so I'll restart my app to test with a clean app environment. Now that I've isolated my ad source, let me attempt to reload the ad. No ad was returned, so I'll open Ad Inspector to figure out why. Checking the SDK request log, I can see there's a no fill. The error is expandable to see a more detailed error message. I'm getting an error that my ad size is considered an invalid ad size. For this example, I requested 300 by 250. After checking the documentation for the Triceratops network, I learned this ad source doesn't support the 300 by 250 size, but supports the 320 by 50 size. So after adjusting the requested banner size from medium rectangle to banner in my code, I'll relaunch my app and re-request the ad. And as we can see, my Triceratops network is happy with this new requested ad size and fills this request. Now that we've covered AdMob mediation results and single ad source testing, our next video will take a deeper dive into bidding results and how to resolve any issues found with your bidding ad sources. Check out the resources in the description below. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to AdMob for more technical content.